Welcome to another edition of Damn TV with Damn Sam. Morning, everybody. Quick, uh, quick vid. Last one before Christmas, I think. Uh, just last job. So that's why I've got it on L and L. Um, job we've come to do today. Damp wall aren't we on. Uh, just damp on bottom, bridging issues. Another company's uh, done a um, a quote for it and um, said for this to, to to be taken off. Damp goes putting in. Uh, just whip skirting off. Just come to have a look and. You can see what problem is straight away. So, we've got brown in here. And you've got some kind of damp course, what's been put on here. So what is it that's happened? Damp course has been put on. They haven't they been asked to take skitting off. So we've got bonding, that's bonding plaster that. Uh, I, and there's a cellar below here. So I've been to have a look in the cellar. And there's render all the way down to the floor. So basically a bit of bridging issue, some kind of bridging issues. Um, so we've whipped this off. So it should be a question of take it off all, all the way on. Take that off. Drill and inject a damp course just for his own guarantee. Um, and then we're gonna put fast fast plasterboard system in, damp damp system in. Salt neutralizer on wall. Um, and I'll just go get some plasterboards. I'm just having a look, just take it bottom bit off, just so I can see what um, thickness it is, and I can get board to uh, to suit. So uh, I'll show you what it's like a bit later on. But that started it. So I say, like to get on site, get a bit off, have a look what's happening, and uh, and then get it fixed. So um, I'll see you in a bit. Hiya, Damp Sam here at this uh, job in uh, Elsica. So earlier on, you'll have just seen that um, we've come to this job and uh, this wall were damp. Uh, another company has said to, um, that they're gonna hack it off. And, and what they said is they're gonna put dry base on the wall. Now, um, it was racking my brain. I thought, oh, surely they don't mean just liquid. DPM, uh, and I've just I, I read through their report, and they have they've they've, they've said to put liquid DPM all over the wall. Um, don't need it. So once we took once I took skirting off, I showed you before. You saw what issue was. So basically, they got bonding on bottom bit of wall. Somebody put some render on on top. Um, there's a, there's a cellar wall in between, so the, the stairs go. Up that way, upstairs, and then downstairs uh, to into the cellar, which is underneath this room. And all cellar walls have been rendered, and this wall underneath here is rendered, and there's been some bridging issues going off. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, again, this is fast damp system. I'm going to show show how I put it on. So I've already cut my board. It's already knocked off. I've already cut my boards. These are 9.5 mils because it will it's really thin at the top or, or it's it's sort of about 12 mil at the top. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take it off uh, and I'm just gonna explain why you don't need to put damp membrane on. So uh, I mean there's, there's just there's just no point in putting damp membrane on. It's had a salt neutralizer on it. On wall, we've already put that on. We've, we've drilled and injected it down, across, and back up. So that's going to stop any bridging coming up from below. I've cut this out, and you'll see me what I've done to it. I'll form it up. Uh, I'll form a couple of them bits. So I'll just show you how quick it is to do.
So this system, like I said before, quickest system available on market. These dots, oak, wood, slightly off the wall. These dots are like a type of acrylic, it's called dry grip, pretty easy. When this grips, this grips like, like you don't know what. And if you're putting cavity drainage membrane on, which is what, what a lot of companies do for cavity, cavity wall journeys membrane on, on wall <clears throat> they have to drill and inject it cut out membrane and just loads of messing about why why did you not just do this system um quicker easier simpler so what i do is with these with this bit of insta stick, insta sticks they'll cure in five ten minutes. Now dry, dry grip takes sort of half an hour. Grip. If you can see, there's no substance to this. It's it's like it's like washing up liquid or fairy balls when uh, when you first put it on. But it only takes five minutes to to cure and stick, but you need to just hold it in place. So I just go in between where I put these, and then when this cures, just hold it in place in time for for that to. Now just a small, just little little dots like that. Any bridging point, which is going to be up here. So the, this stuff has been purposely made now, just for this type of drywall issues. So that sits in there, just goes in there. Like that. This is just to stop it from pushing back on its uh Do it some new one of these for Christmas, I think. So 
We've got a gap across the bottom which has been packed up and then it gets filled with it is. I'll hold it on the skirting line. So, just going to put this second in on now. So that's like a two meter length. I know it's quite straightforward. But that's the beauty of using this system. It's just so simple. And once you know how damp travels on the wall, this system's best for this. And you can use different thickness of boards. If it's really thick, get an insulated board. Which has already got the vapor check on it. I was talking to a builder the other day, and they're using it. They're using this system already. One of my pals, Richard Logan, and he was saying that they were using it on new builds, which is you've got like straight breeze block walls, so builders are using it, you get this stuff. Um, pink grip and things like that that's purposely made for just putting on plastic boards. They, they get them in place, hold them in place and leave them. You know, he says they're fantastic. So builders are doing it now. Builders, joiners, it's that easy. This is going to sit slightly behind here. That's just to stop it pushing back on itself. Same again, I'm gonna do it. Right, do that trick box. Cross the bottom. Gapping up top. So, what I'd done, I'd already measured it. When I marked out top for knocking off, I'd already measured it for a, a 90 mil board. Yeah, a 90 centimeter board, 900 mil board. That's how easy it is. That's how, that's how easy it is just to get a board on a straight run. I mean, it's a bit more difficult because you've got like a plug socket in. So it, it's maybe just a touch, 
touch harder when there's a plug socket in. Um, I'm just gonna adjust this one. Pull that in a bit. That's where I'll do the top of it. So put that in the middle, get them two together like that. Keep that joint straight. So you can just adjust them and that. Um not even a tech. Not even a tech. Five, ten minutes to to pull in. Um but what you can do have a cup of tea sandwich and that if you've got your sharp trowel, skimming trowel, that just slices off. You don't hack at it, just slice it off, up and down, up and down. Um the trowel's normally that sharp that it'll just whip it straight off. Same at bottom, whip it off. But what we're gonna do is uh before I skim it now, I'm gonna stick a bit of skirting on. So as soon as this is cured and I've got other bit on, I shall stick skirting on with uh, with same acrylic, a bit of insta stick, put it on, and then we can skim down to it so there's no gap. Probably we won't have to cork it or out like that after. You can do it after you've skimmed it, but it tends to fit better if you do it onto plasterboard. So what I'll do is uh, we'll get that on. We have five minutes. Uh, what time is it now? Half eleven. So it's half eleven. So we've got here. Got crack started about what time? Quarter to nine. Like about quarter to nine. It's half eleven now. It's hacked off, drilled, and injected. Um, salt neutralizer put on. Um, twelve o'clock. Maybe quarter past twelve. Skitting will be on. We'll mix finish up. Get that banged on. Blended in. And that's it, it's done. Um, if you'd have been using a, a membrane, you've got, I'm going to go, actually missing top of me. If, if you'd have been using a membrane on on here, one, I know I know they do a, um, a three mil now, and I know they do a, a five mil membrane. So even, even with a three mil, if you get a nine and a half, 9.5 mil board, that takes it up to uh, 14 mil if my maths are. 12. <laughs> what is it, what? 12 and a half. Is it? Yeah. Are they sure? 3 and 9 and a half, 12. 3 and what? 3 and 9 and a half, 12 and a half. Yeah, so I said 4 mil, but <laughs> it takes it up to 14. So you're still going to be struggling there. You're still going to be, it's still going to be proud because you've got to have, you've got to have whatever they're going to stick it on with and, and they stick it on with drywall. They don't use this acrylic. So your drywall docks are not going to go flush with water. So you're going to end up with a bow in it. Um, and that's, that's the issue. Plus you've got your drill, you're drilling and injecting them and then you're putting your, you're putting your um, discs in to hold, hold membrane in place. So you, you've, you've got, say, four, eight, six, uh, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, so you've at least 24 discs to go in there if, you, if, it, if it's getting done right, you've 24 discs. Cost to your disc, cost to your membrane, um, sealing stuff. So you've got to, you'd have to seal it across the top, sealing tape, um, board, drywall adhesive. Um, you've got your, uh, your, your, your cream. So it's just, it's just more expensive, more expensive way. Time, so that's time costs more energy, more mess, brick dust everywhere. It's just a lot better system. It's just a lot better system. And I know why these um, other why these companies are persisting with the uh, membrane system is because they think it's bulletproof. So they get like sort of semi-skilled people fitting it. Um, and they can get plasters to dry line to it. But with a bit of training on this system, they're gonna make more profit. I know companies that's already using it, um, cause I showed a couple, 
hopefully, so <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show them how to do it. And um, they keep telling me not to tell anybody because, <laughs> because, uh, because they're making that much, they're making that much profit um, because of this, this system, speed, profit, less energy, less materials, just, just basically everything. And this is just on one wall, so you can do smaller jobs. Uh, and if they're good at it, they can do bigger jobs. I mean, you've seen that other one I did, which is um, which what eight before was full length. So you get set up properly. Once you learn this system right, you can do it on on bigger walls, small walls, um, just more just more profit. So, and it's just not plasters. It's not just plasters that can do it. So if you if you can get um, DIY people, because now you've got. Um, Damp check rods and things like that. It's just, it's just an easy system to 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 install. So this is why I keep banging on about it, banging on about, about it. It'll probably take another eight, eight or nine years before before they all catch on. Um, but the will, everybody will start using this system at some point. But by the time they, they catch on and they're doing it, there'll probably be a quicker system on on market. Um, I don't know what, but I'll have probably invented it. I'll be a millionaire, so I'll not be bothered. Right, so uh, I'm going to leave you now. I might do another video later, but if not, enjoy pictures. See you later. Ugh. So we've, by magically, or oh magic, it's all finished now, so... We're on about three o'clock now. Could have probably possibly got it done a bit quicker. But um, yeah, so it's all blended in. So wants one more whip of her. Um, carpet's back. Skirting's back. All sorted. And that, people. What is it now? That's it, that is why this system is quicker than any other system. If you're doing it with wet plaster, then uh, you'd have to do it. It took you two days to do that. If you'd have done it with membranes, drilling and injecting, loads of drill holes, brick, brick dust, you'd add, add another two hours onto the job. Um, and add like a lot more in materials. So all we've got left to say is have a happy Christmas and uh, look forward to doing more videos for the new year um, and a great new year. I hope it's really prosperous and uh, and you, have, you get everything you want. See you later. Thanks for watching another edition of Dam TV with Dam Sam. Please subscribe and please like the channel.